Hello, y'all. Thanks for watching the first video. Um, I know y'all probably thinking like, what all can she be talking about in these vlogs, right? These little travel vlogs, like she already did it. I mean, there's a lot of different information I can tell you. You know, no, I'm not no travel expert, cause like y'all said, this is my first international travel. But so far, I'm doing okay. Right now, I'm from the East Coast, for some of my subscribers um, who don't know that. So, back home right now, it is 10.57 a.m. Right now where I'm at, it is 10.57 p.m. And today is Monday. They are still, they are just starting Monday. Yes, they are just starting Monday and I am ending Monday. So I'm about to be on Tuesday in about an hour and some minutes. Yeah, so I'm not a full day ahead. I'm like more like a half a day ahead. And then like I do have like a best friend live out in like the western part. And I think she's like nine hours behind me. But I'm still in a whole nother day than her. But um, basically, there was a lot that I learned, you know, coming in and, and doing things. Um, but I know a lot of people got questions because I'm a military brat. And I know for the people who have traveled military and all that, they're like, oh, I already know that. You know, some of the guys, some of the girls, I know that, I know this, I know that. But the thing about it is everybody's not military. I am a, I was a dependent, so I didn't know half the things I know now. And also I didn't get to travel internationally, which sucks. But I'm doing it now. So let me go ahead and get some things together and I'm gonna show you and talk to you about some things in Indonesia that I think is really cool to know. All right, y'all. All right, so yes, y'all. If I look dry and ashy, I just got out of the shower. I know my best friend is probably like, you ain't even put no chapstick on. She is gonna talk pure tea about me. Okay, and yeah, I'm, I'm ashy, I'm dry right now. I don't care, but let me show you some things. Um, one thing that I do have that I thought of getting like last minute was a portable, uh, what's that called? Speaker. So I can listen to like, you know, music and stuff that I want to hear. Also, y'all, if you are traveling internationally, you need an international plug. <laughs> plug. Keep that in mind. Like, because when you go, everybody's outlet is not the same. Like, this is for in Asia, and then they have, like, another outlet. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Probably can't. Hold on. Tripods are for... Okay. Can y'all see? All right. Sorry if it's blurry. But that's that. This one is, like, for the UK looks almost like ours in the US and then this one right here is US and Australia and then um, oh also the one right here at the top that I'm using is not just for Asia it's for like Europe too theirs is also like that so this little wonderful contraction 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 yes it's awesome and um, also you know, because, you know, every time you travel, it's like, don't forget my plug. I need my plug. I need my plug. Um, you need this plug. And you can always, I bought mine on Amazon, I think, for like $10, $12. They say you can actually, well, I know here in Indonesia, if I would have waited and bought it, they said it's like dirt cheap. It would have been like $3 or something. Um, also, it has like several USB ports, which is awesome, too. Because... You know, everything is USB these days, and if you forget to have the other one, then it sucks. 
Also, yes, I know you're like, this is a lot of cords, Laverne. Yes, it is. I have a lot of electronics. Not because you need a lot of electronics to travel, because you don't. Most regular travels just use their phone. But as y'all know now, secrets out the bag. Especially if you looked at my YouTube a little bit more, I actually vlog way more than people knew. So, also, let's see. Got my passport, right? Have to have my passport. Um, actually, when you come in, the best thing to do with your passport is to put it into the safe that they have. You do not want to walk around the country with your passport. You are supposed to basically, sorry, it got dark, take copies, take a copy of your, your passport like around with you and your ID, but you're not supposed to carry your passport because if you lose it, you're going to have a hassle trying to get like a temporary one to get your ass home. Um, yes, I have. I have a MacBook and I have an iPad. Um, I do a lot of video and editing and picture taking and stuff like that now. Um, oh, another thing about Indonesia. This is the water at this hotel that they give us because you cannot drink the water in Indonesia. Indonesian water is actually toxic and bad. You cannot, and the reason for that is because their um, waste system is not as advanced as some countries. So even here, there's some places that you would see a sign that says, like use the bathroom, you can't flush the toilet tissue. I know it's like, ew, what? You can't flush the toilet tissue. They want you to put the toilet tissue in the trash can. They don't think it's gross because, um, you know, that's what they do already. In our mind, we're like, probably like, I don't put that in there, but it's the it's because their waste system is not strong. It doesn't break down everything, and that's why their water system is not good at all. So they give you bottles of water that you don't have to pay for, and it's in glass. They're, um, I know they, I think they use like metal straws too and things like that, um, just to try to keep down the waste, which is really, really cool. Um, some people would be like, what? But it actually is really cool. Um, got a number. He was digging me. Nah, I'm just playing. Okay. Now, this is the driver that picked me up from the hotel. His name is Dharma, and he is like mad cool. Because here, they use a lot of taxi services. Um, Uber is actually illegal. You cannot use Uber. Um, oh, another fun fact about me is I have never, <laughs> even though I never went into, I've never been international or anything like that, I have never used a Uber or Lyft or anything like that. Kind of funny, huh? So, and it's like, and you just went like across the world and you haven't even done that before. No, I haven't. So here is my first place where I'll be using taxi services and things of that nature. But they do have something called Gojek and Grab. Um, that's their car services. They don't use Uber. Um, for some reason, I think it's probably the taxi people um, looking out for them. It's something like that. But they do have other car services. Also here, everything, when it comes to money, is in the thousands. Which I know is like, what the hell? Thousands? So here goes like, a, here's one bill. Let me see. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to stand this up on the bed. And this bed is not agreeing with me. I just stay up on my MacBook. MacBook just got to be mad, huh? Some of y'all like, don't stand it up on your MacBook. It'll be all right. I ain't tripping, so it ain't tripping. Okay. So, yeah, y'all just watch like 10 minutes of me fixing that. Okay, so here goes one of their bills. It is not focusing, but if you notice the numbers, it says 50,000. If I got it turned the right way, yeah, 50,000. And they're called rupias. 
Um, but the thing about it is this $50,000 bill is only like $3. Weird, right? It's kind of cool. I think it's cool. It's only like $3. And then they have like the $2,000 bill is maybe like a, a dollar. 5,000. Like, it's, it's weird. It's weird, but it's cool at the same time. This is a $10,000 one, which is maybe like $7. And then a $100,000 one, um, which is maybe about 10. I think it's about maybe $10 or less than that. But yeah, everything goes by the thousands. So it's really cool. Make you feel like, you know, you balling and stuff. But actually, y'all, this is not a lot of money. This was exchanged from just a hundred dollar bill. And I only think I only used like maybe four bills so far. So you're probably looking at it as like, dang, how much money did she exchange? I only exchanged a hundred dollars. And this is how much I got for a hundred dollars. This is a lot because out here, things are really cheap. I got me like a full size like pizza. Well not full size, but pretty full size pizza. And it only cost me, I think $5. Really cool. I was like, oh, that's, that's neat. And I also have an app to help me with that too. Cause I'm not trying to, you know, give up no money I ain't supposed to give up. Also, when you go out to eat, like they don't really like big on tips and stuff at restaurants, but if you get like a somebody like a tour guide or somebody that wants to help you carry your bags or things like that, you do have to be careful with that because they are expecting a tip. Um, if you don't tip them, I mean, it's not like they're going to beat you up, but they will, you know, let you know it's kind of rude and they will be like tip, you know, like tip and a tip here. No, I mean, they're, they're not asking for like $20, $10, anything like that. Like, that $50,000 bill that I showed y'all, that, matter of fact, I can tell y'all exactly how much it's worth. How about I do that? How about I do that instead of guessing? I won't do every bill. I'll just do the $50,000 bill. And 50000 Here we go. So, all right. So, I'm back. Um, but like I was trying to show y'all, I don't think there it go. It says fifty thousand. If you see at the top, the IDR that is the rupiah. That's for the money here, and above that is U.S. dollars. So that fifty thousand dollar bill is worth three dollars and fifty four cents, I believe that says. And the crazy thing about it is they do not do change here. So you round up. So basically, I would pay them four dollars, like that. And if it was like low let's say 320 something 310 now it was like 305 something like that now i can just give them three dollars but i well i'll give them the whole 50 period but um yeah most likely i will always round up and be like here you know and things are like really really cheap like the food that you would get here like the portions they're huge and you know their food is very authentic very fresh like you can even taste it in their rice like when you're eating their rice it is, it's not a box of no uncle ben's like they have rice fields out here indonesia is known for their rice fields because they actually produce a lot of rice out here and they pick their own rice they process well i don't use the word process but they do you know everything they're supposed to do with it sell it here cook it here, do all that good old stuff. And the food, like you can just taste it. It just, everything just tastes good. I had some eggs today and I don't know, they taste fresher than regular eggs. And yes, they were regular chicken eggs, okay? Regular chicken eggs. For y'all that's trying to be funny. But um, yeah, oh, and I know my beautician is probably like Laverne before you left. Your curls, I had your hair perm rod. It was set. 
y'all that plane was so cold that i had to put my hoodie on i had the blanket it was cool too delta don't play delta gave us pillows they gave us slippers they gave us a blanket i was like okay so but i had my jacket on a regular t-shirt some some of my workout tights my spares because y'all know for everybody that know Vern rock spares with everything how y'all rock jordans i rock spares but anyway um i had bought a little pillow that i bought at the airport i already knew it was going to be a lot of money and once again, I was talking to the bestie as I was buying it. And she was like, you know, it's gonna be, it's, she's like, it's going to be too expensive at the airport. I was like, well, I can't leave now. <laughs> I'm here. So I had to buy it and it was expensive as hell. I'm not even going to tell you how much I paid for it. Y'all going to be like, Laverne, you should have bought one before you can went. But it was actually a really good one. It's like extra plush. So it like sits higher than the regular one. So you're not like this. Like I'm actually like sitting up. But it's like kind of too big for my headphones because I use big Sony headphones, you know, to drown out people and drown out all the noise and stuff. Cause it they're like awesome headphones. I use them for working out and everything. Um But yeah. I had all that on. I had it on tight. I was freezing cold, trying to sleep, you know, like in an upright, slight link back position for like 14 hours and like for like seven hours and for like and it was rough but i made it i'm here can't believe i'm here i'm gonna say that now i cannot believe i am here um as i was getting on the first plane actually the week of it that it was time for me to go I was very nervous. Um, so nervous that some people know that I work out like Monday through Friday. I can only work out like one day out of the week. Like it was scary. Like it was frightening. Um, had a lot going the last, you know, year of my life. So going away from family was like really hard and they were they were scared too. <laughs> Trust me, that video y'all saw with them smiling. They were scared out their damn mind. I was trying to put my book bag on. My mom was trying to help me. She was like, let me, my dad had to stop her because he was like, look, we're not going to be there to help her as she's out there. So she has to do it. They were scared out their mind. I was scared out my mind. Um, as I got to Georgia, saw my homeboy, did that eight hour layover. Um, then it was time for me to go get on my international flight. Once I got on that um, international flight and I stepped on and the plane went into the air, I was like, that's it. If I wanted to turn back, I should have did it when I was in Georgia and just said, fuck it. I ain't going, excuse my language. But that was it. It was time to go. Next thing you know, I was in Korea. Then I hit my homegirl up, Teresa, because I had some questions. <laughs> I was like, yo, you know, she's Korean, Japanese, and I was like, an American. I was like, hey, like, help me out a little bit. Had a good conversation with her um, during my eight hour wait before I met Caleb and stuff. Um, but no, yeah, I was scared. Am I still scared? Yeah. Am I excited? Yes. Am I happy? No, because things should be a little bit different than what it is right now so um very excited but sad at the same time but i know it sounds weird to some people some people know me some people don't but some understand and some won't of course that's life that's shit. that's everything but i'm here i'm doing it it's only been like the second day and tomorrow is the ninth um and as y'all saw from the title i'm leaving now and i'm sad i don't want to leave yet i'm actually enjoying this but 
Uh, but don't get it twisted. I'm not leaving Indonesia. I'm just leaving the Vera Hotel and I am moving to my next spot. Yes, next spot. I am not staying inside this hotel the whole time. Um, next, I will be going to the next city and I will let y'all know what the next city is. It's still in Indonesia, still out here in Bali, but just the next city. Um, I'll let y'all, I'll give y'all a room tour and everything with that one. That one is not a hotel. So the places I am staying, only one was an actual regular hotel, and that's this one. The other place I'm gonna be staying at is a villa. Villa. Villas? Villa? Villa? Okay, villas, whatever. And yeah, next one is a villa. And I will be letting you know what city I am in. I will let you know it's, the money will still be the same, everything like that. It's just a different part of the city. Um, I will give y'all another room tour. So don't let the um don't let the title fool you. I am not on the way back yet. Actually, no time soon. I know you're like, what? No time soon? No time soon. So um Yeah, y'all get to see that. Oh, and I'm also gonna be honest too. When I got here, I was super duper tired. I Plane got here at five something. I had to go through immigration, customs, all that type of stuff um, just to make it here. So my plane landed at 5.50. I didn't get to my hotel room until almost eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, driver was really cool. He was very nice. They are so polite out here. Um, I love them. I don't even know everybody. I love them. <laughs> They're polite. They're like really polite. And I enjoy that. Um, I was at my room the whole day yesterday and I did um, room service. I actually will be doing room service again today. I did not leave my hotel. I actually was supposed to leave the hotel today and I was going to roam the streets of Densa Spar. Densa Par. Densa Par. Caleb told me I was saying it wrong. And I was like, no, I think I'm saying it right. Cause I call it Dem Spar. It's like Densa Spar, something like that. Um, so he asked the lady when we was in Seoul, Korea, like, how do you say it? And she said it like him. So I was just like, whatever. But, um, yeah. So I learned, um, how to say it a little better. Not perfect yet. But I was supposed to go roam the streets today. Um, go out, get me some food, stop at a couple restaurants. You know, just, just see everything. But, y'all, so jet lag. Next thing you know, I was up, you know, took like swimsuit pics or whatever. Look, you know, had my balcony doors open, letting air in and stuff. Then I closed it all up and then just worked on some video stuff. And then I just passed out. Like, I didn't even know I passed out until I woke up coughing. I was like, I was asleep. What the hell? But, um... Yeah, so I didn't get to roam the city, but it's okay because I have a lot of time. And this is like the city near the airport. So, I mean, there's a lot going on. It's a part of Kuta. Kuta is um, basically where a lot of young tourists come. They come and they party. They do a lot of parties and stuff out here. Um, so, yes, they party. They have clubs and stuff here. And they be getting it because you know I can hear the music. I'm not far from it, um, but I wasn't in that scene. But I did do room service yesterday, and I am going to do room service today because it's late and I'm not about to leave out. But tomorrow, I check out at noon. I also have a free massage that I, they gave me when I got here, so I'm gonna do that in the morning. I'm gonna eat breakfast. I'm gonna do that in the morning. Get myself my stuff together because yes I already packed up because like I said I'm leaving um to my next location and yeah oh I'll let y'all listen to me order room service it's it's, it's kind of funny I think I think I'm the confusing one I don't think they're the confusing one I think I'm the confusing one 
Because <laughs> I'd be trying to say it, and then I'd be like, huh? Because, like, for breakfast, the girl was like, he wants scrambled eggs. I was like, yeah, I want three scrambled eggs. She was like, okay, so one egg scrambled, two, two more eggs? And I was like, huh? And I was like, yeah, but three scrambled. I want all three scrambled. And she was like, okay, so, like, three order of eggs? You want three order of eggs scrambled? I was like, no, um, <laughs> I, I want three eggs, yes, three orders, but I want it all in one order scrambled. And then she was like, okay, three eggs scrambled, three orders together. Got it. I said, okay. All right. I said, I, I think I'm doing it right. And then this other American guy was like, nope, you, you, you did it just fine. That's, that's how it goes. You did it fine. And I was like, okay, I don't feel bad. Cause I was like, I did not want to be confusing nobody. You know, he was like, that's how it goes. I was like, okay, cool. I don't feel bad, but I'm about to order room service. I'll let y'all see me order some, let y'all see what I'm eating. And then soon I'll be going to sleep. And when I wake up in the morning, um, yeah, I'll vlog some more and also let y'all see the new place I'm at and what I'm going to do, I'm not going to stay in that hotel room. I think I got stuck inside this hotel room. I mean, I went out and got breakfast and stuff, but like I didn't get to like roam the city. Like I said, I think I got stuck because I was so tired. That 30 hour flight, even though it's like, did you sleep on the plane? Yes, I slept on the plane, but it's not like you're not laying down, like you're sitting up. So I had a 14 hour flight. I had two eight hour layovers. Then I had to get on a plane for another seven hours. And that was rough for somebody who never did it before. So, you know, oh, in that first video, yes, I had the same clothes on for like 30 hours, almost two days. So if I look funky, I look like my breath stink, I look like all that, sorry, sorry. But I know when I got here and took that shower the other day, I felt like a brand new person. But let me go look at this menu real quick and I'll let y'all see what I'm ordering. Let y'all hear me order it and let y'all see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna go to sleep so I can get up early because the sun actually comes out very early here. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow I check out at 12. I think it takes about an hour to get to my next destination. And when I get there, I'll get settled and I'll try to go ahead and just go start roaming the street, like right? roaming the street early. I'm gonna be at that one for a couple of days too. A little longer than I was here. This was just a pit stop just to help rejuvenate. Like this is like a rejuvenate spot because I didn't want to go too far from the airport knowing I was tired knowing that the traffic is crazy um, they don't have stop lights they don't have stop signs it's just like a go 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 is it's, it's kind of crazy the traffic out here is it's is nerve-wracking that's why I said I, I don't I haven't drove in almost a year so um, I definitely was not driving out here and he know what he was doing. It's his thing. So I let him do what he was doing. And I just sat. I didn't even sit in the back. I was like, can I sit next to you? And I was about to get on the right hand side. And he was like, no, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. And I was like, oh, I, I can't. Because at first he told me yes. And I was like, oh, I can't sit next to you. I was like, okay. Would you want me to sit in the back? He was like, no, 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 no. He's like, you can sit you can sit up there with me. He was like, why am I trying to talk in, like, with their accent? Tell me stop. It's rude. Tell me to stop, y'all. That is rude. He was like, no, you can sit with me. He was like, but I sit on the right. Drive. We drive on the right. My seat is on the right. You sit on the left. And I said, oh, okay. I said, we was about, I was about to have we, us all messed up out here. But, um, yeah, he was cool. So let me go ahead and look at this menu. Order me some food. And then show y'all what I'm about to eat. Love y'all. All right, y'all. Here goes the menu. They have like all types of stuff. 
And remember, the pricing is not what it is. So, like the oxtail is 99, it says 99 dollars, it's not 99 US dollars. It's probably like I pay mine's just there was like 65 and it was only like five dollars. So, this may be about eight or nine dollars, maybe. For that, so yeah, they have the things like oxtail soup and things of that nature. Different soups, beef nachos, spring rolls, calamari. Um, they got different pastas. I think I know what I want. They do have like drink menus. They'll bring you drinks to the poolside. They'll bring you drinks to your room. They got salads. Excuse my nose, I'm bending over. Beer, fresh juices, specialty coffees, hot tea, soft drinks. I think like wines and different classic cocktails and things of that nature. Also, they do have like ribs, things of that nature. Er, er, I keep saying of that nature. I'm gonna try to stop saying certain words. And I think this is daiquiri exotic cocktails yeah but what i think i'm going to order is going to be it's gonna be funny um i want the the me go ring me go ring, go ring, go ring, me go ring. <laughs> Hopefully, I say it right. Me go ring. We'll see. You're probably gonna be like, huh? What are you trying to say? I'm like, I want that, this. So let me give them a call. Me go ring, walk fried, egg noodle with chicken, vegetables and condiments. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. <coughs> I want you to go on speakerphone because I don't like putting hotel phones to my ear and stuff because I don't think y'all gonna be able to hear them but let's see nope yes I wanted to order some room service I want to get the I think it's pronounced me go ring. Yes, sir. That's the fried noodle thing, right? Um, do it have fried egg in it? It do? Awesome. Okay. Um, no, I think that will be it. Oh, um, yeah, 212. Say that one more time. Yes, sir. Correct. Thank you. Bye bye. See? I think they're getting used to me. They're like, um, she's very nice, but she don't, you know, she's trying. But yeah, the food should be up here soon, so and it's kind of cool. They don't knock at the door, like knock, 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 like all the other hotels, like back at the, um, whatchamacallit, they actually have a doorbell. So it's like, ding dong. Hopefully I can start recording before they, they do it so y'all can hear it because it's pretty cool. It's like ding dong. But um, yeah, i let y'all see my meal soon. And then after that meal, I should be trying my hardest to knock myself out. Because I got to get up in the morning, make sure 
I get this free massage. They gave me a free massage, 50 minute shoulder and back massage. I'd be the damn if I skip that. <laughs> Rub me down, okay? Rub me down. <laughs> All right, y'all. I will be right back. All right, so sorry guys, you <laughs> you missed the doorbell, but it said ding dong. <laughs> but I'm about to show y'all. OMG! I'm gonna get better at this tripod thing. I got like two. I put the other one up already. The other one's much bigger. It goes with my ring light. Yeah, I got a ring light. Told y'all I'd be doing that vlog and shit. If y'all look at my page, y'all gonna see all types of videos. But, um, I'm about to show y'all my food. And I am about to mess this up. It was 54,000. Which is, let's see. Fifty-four thousand. Okay, so can y'all see it? Okay, so it was fifty-four thousand. So this meal was only three dollars and eighty-three cents. Now let me show y'all my meal, cause y'all gonna be like, quit playing, cause for even for a plate this size, back home. Man, they would want like twelve, fifteen dollars. They've been tripping. I've been like, I. Right. But I should have told him to fry my egg harder. Harder. I didn't know. I have to remember that they like their egg a little bit more undercooked. But once I mix it into my noodles, I won't even notice it. But let me show y'all my meal. This is my meal. The me go ring. Oh, let me what you call it. Okay, but yeah, this is my meal. And you know they give me my little what you call it. Yes, I'm eating in the bed. Get over it. That's how I roll. Got my water. I also have another big bottle of water that I already have, but it looks so good, y'all. Has vegetables, these little chip things they have that I heard are really good and basically it is noodles it's a noodle dish um with chicken in it veggies and then a fried egg on top and as y'all can see like I said they do cook their egg under um I'm not really an under egg type person but once I break it up into the noodles I'll be alright and I get a little piece of fried chicken I know I get a little piece of fried chicken alright that chicken look good though I'm not a big fried chicken eater, but it looked good. All right, y'all. So I am going to say good night because I'm about to eat this. And oh yeah, and I'm gonna eat my dessert. For dessert, I'm gonna eat me a, um that little cinnamon roll looking thing. I don't know if y'all if you watched the whole video, you saw it. I got it in Korea. And it's like a it's like a cinnamon roll, but they call it something else. Like the layers are much thinner, but it's basically a cinnamon roll. Oh yeah. And I didn't get to show y'all the money from Korea. This is Korean money. I wanted to get some, so I used um they take American dollars but give you back um their money. And that is two dollars. So this is two thousand dollar. It's a thousand dollar bill, two one thousand dollar bills, and this is like two dollars. So that's in Korea though. Here, that I think a thousand dollars is like mm, maybe fifty cent. But yeah. All right, I love y'all. Smooches. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow.
we will catch up tomorrow and get to the next spot and figure out what I'm going to do. And I'm going to keep y'all included. Keep on watching. Keep on following the journey. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Love y'all. <laughs>